Hey y'all, how you doing? Dr. B. This is just a quick uh, exam review with some uh, sample questions. So first thing we want to do is go to the exam study guide. Um, and you'll see there is a plethora of information, most of which we went over in class either through lab. Um, again, this is the lab we did with the root tip um, onion mitosis. Very, very clear um, what's going on there. Um, so a couple of words we hadn't talked that much about, but did a little bit. Oncogenes and proto-oncogenes, there might be a question on those um, or two. And again, meiosis, you can see clearly one of the biggest things that you probably want to really know is the difference between mitosis and meiosis, what they produce and why they produce them. A um, couple other ones, again, non-disjunction, when the chromosomes do not separate correctly, um, usually in meiosis. Um, you can get things like um, trisomy 21, otherwise known as Allen syndrome, uh, Turner syndrome, things like that. So uh, the newer stuff we covered the last two weeks. Um, so instead of just kind of reading these, let's do a couple of examples, uh, some of which are from the actual exam. So there'll be a few questions related to something like this. And so we did go over this in class, but just as a reminder, um, square biological male, circle biological female. Um, and understand I may be asking you to um, tell me what some of the genotypes or phenotypes uh, would be. So if I wanted you to, for example, like use letter B um, as the gene letter, um, and you know, you can cut. So the idea is if I were to ask you like, what's the genotype of this particular male in generation one or this particular female in generation two, um, based on that letter B, clearly you'd need to say something like either BB or BB, or BB, um, depending on what kind of trait you see here. Um, so there'll be a few questions about that and about what kind of genetic trait this might be. Um, so that's one particular example of what you might see. You might have a question uh, about this. Yours won't be exactly the same, but it's generally the same kind of idea. Um, so this one's the name of the inheritance pattern um, that would produce offspring with pink flowers from one that was red flowered male, for example, and white flowered female. And so obviously pink is like half of white and half of um, red. So in this case, that would be like incomplete dominance. So that's the kind of answer I would look. So there's a few questions that talk about either multiple alleles or incomplete dominance or whether something's dominant or recessive, etc. And I'll give you one more. You will uh, in all likelihood have something like a diagram um, obviously the diagram is missing from what you see here, but it will not be missing from uh, what you will be doing on the actual exam. So uh, those are the words that you might need to drag and drop. You might recognize these from a homework assignment. Um, so those are words you definitely want to know where they would go if I were to give you some sort of um, chart or graph to fill in. So hopefully that helped, and I will see you on Thursday.